Lawrence, welcome yeah. to the bubble. Before we come on to this weekend and what's unfolded in the last week or so, you've watched all of the bubbles from the 1st of August from the outside in, but now you're here, how have you found ex your experience? Yeah, it's been good. I like a lot of the artwork that you see around and about, do you know what I mean? I'll definitely be taking some memorabilia. Um, it's been cool that like, I've got good people around, people that I like anyway, so it's, um, it's calm. A frustrating week for you, which has been testament to the sort of year we find ourselves in, ups and downs. Just, can you talk us through the initial reaction and your thoughts when you, you got the call that unfortunately Glowacki had tested positive and the fight wouldn't be for the WBO world title? Um, obviously it was a weird one. I was a little bit angry, a little bit frustrated, lots of different stuff, but it was only a couple minutes, you know, and then I was, um, you know, told I'd still be boxing on the day, they're still going to be hunting. So it was kind of um, little um, bits and bobs were you know, told. So there's little bits of hope the whole way through. Obviously now we're here, we know what the situation is, but ultimately, you know, um, I still have a fight on Saturday um, and I still got to go in and win. So that's what I've kind of focused on. So yeah, been confirmed, I believe, that the WBO international belt okay. is what will be on the line. Has it been difficult for you? We know you're very strong-minded and we've, you're very self-assured, as you just said over there in your design interview, but has it been tough for you mentally at all to go from you know, you, you know you're fighting for this world title, to, to have that setback. Was it tough to get yourself back in that fighting mindset? No, not really, because um, ultimately I've got an undefeated fighter who, if I don't beat, he gets to have a big showdown in Poland against Glowacki. So I can't allow that to happen. I need to go in there and, and win and win well. Um, you know, he's an orthodox fighter who I haven't seen any fights where he comes in and just tries to hold. So it will be interesting to um, see how how it is under Shane with the style that I'm kind of adopting with a stand-up boxer. You've taken this fight and as you just said there, if you win, you're effectively going to stay in the same position you would yeah. have if you hadn't have fought. Is that just a, a testament again to, to your mindset? You're a fighting man and you just want to get back in the ring? Yeah, that's kind of it. And also I see positives in having another fight. You know, I've had 14 fights, um, not that many rounds. Of course, I am still believe I'm a winner and I'm going to win whoever I'm in there with. But it gives me another bit of experience, potentially, um, depending on how the fight goes, you know, maybe I, I, I learn something new in this fight that helps me with the world title fight. So uh, I, I'm li I can only see positives. Out of the situation that's been handed, there's only positives I can really go for. Besides being 19 and I, as you just mentioned, what do you know about Nikodem Jezuski heading into this fight? I'm confident, you know, he's got the whole of Poland behind him. I've, you know, watched a couple of interviews of his, you know, where um, he, seems, he seems confident. Um, he, you know, he's just had a child and stuff, so he wants to fight for his kid and stuff like that. So he's got um, a lot of a lot to gain here, and um, that, that, that's that's a dangerous man. When this type of thing happens, do you have a little sit down with Shane? And you sort of okay, right? There's not much we can do about it. Try not to change too much and just rely on what you, the work you have been putting in the gym is going to be enough to see you through. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I think it would be more difficult if he had like a a, a, a style that is, you know, com completely out of the out of the you know, dictionary or if you're training for an orthodox fight and you get a southpaw. But I think where all, he's got um, an orthodox style, that's a style that we train all day, every day against. So it's not a massive change for me, except, you know, the guy's taller. But to be honest, at the end of the day, you have to be able to adapt to whoever it is really. So I feel good. Anthony Joshua, your close friend, he's been important influence on your career and your life as well. To be boxing on his undercard on Sky Sports to close what's been a tough year, it must be nice for you. Yeah, so, you know, that's another reason why I was quite OK with the world title fight not happening now, you know. I still get to box on the card, be a part of it all. Um, still get to mix with um, everyone, mix with AJ and, 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 and the boys. So it's been, it's been good. It's been a long, long, hard year for everyone. Um, so it's good to be able to close out with a victory on such a big show. We know, obviously, you have a set plan. You want to become world champion, unify, and then look to move up to heavyweight. Just recent news we've had recently with the WBC bridge weight division. What are your thoughts on that? Is that ever something you think would interest you? Yeah, I saw the rankings today. Um, so I might, it uh, depends how quick we can, you know, let me not overlook anyone. I need to focus on Saturday and then we'll see. But yeah, definitely God willing, everything goes well. Um, there's a potential I'll quickly pop up there and uh, see what's going on. So let's just talk, you get through Jezuski next year, Early next year, have you had word or confirmation from Eddie that that fight with Glavaki will, will be happening in, in January? Yeah, that, um, I don't know about January, but um, they, it'll be early in the year. Um, and yeah, because obviously the WBO need the title to be fought for. So as long as I'm able to win on Saturday, uh, my next fight will still be against Glavaki.
Are you a believer in trusting the process that all this type of thing is, is happening for the reason to, to lead you in the right path to fight for the world honours at the right time? Are you trying to take the positives from it? Yeah, uh, for that. I mean, you know, when um, COVID that struck, I thought, you know what, gives me more time to work with, you know, Shane. OK, cool. You know, um, Grovatsky's getting older anyway, blah, 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 whatever. And then, then he gets COVID. It's like, you know what, I don't know what I'm going to learn um, on Saturday, but there's some, I feel like there's a... I, I'd say there's positives to get. I don't want to say, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason as such. Everything does happen for a reason, but I think generally there's positives for having this fight now. Anthony has talked about wanting to do a number on Kubrat Pulev. Of course, everyone's talking about what may lay in store for him in 2021. He's very focused on this fight. What are you expecting in the main event? Of, what, from Asia? Yeah, I expect they just do exactly that. Do a number on him. I feel, you know, this is going to be another it's, it's good stand-up boxer. Um, so I feel like AJ should be able to um, be at his best, you know, where someone's trying to box with him and then he can show why he's an Olympic gold medalist and two-time world champion. And for yourself, in your own words, boxing on Sky Sports Box Office, chief support, can, we give us, uh, can you give us your prediction as well? Are you looking to, to win this fight and stuff? On my fight? Um, the closer I get, the more I realise I'm going to have to go in there and try and make a big statement. So I'm going to go for a, a KO. Um, I don't want to say what round or anything, but I'm going to go for a KO and try to get it done in the first half. Lawrence Guy, well, we wish you the very best of luck. Thank Thanks you.